I am back from China where I attended CES Asia and Biden's unveiling of their new sedan uh, and few other events that were very cool but I'm back uh, if you have landed a few hours ago uh, I'm gonna catch up on a few things that happened this week uh, obviously Tesla autopilot was in the news a lot then there's Porsche and workhorse and a few other things I'm gonna uh, uh, go over this coming up next Thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon and thank you if you're watching me on YouTube, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, before I get into all the stories, just wanted to uh, mention that um, I went to China, as you know, for about a week, uh, Shanghai and Nanjing, this is me in uh, Shanghai, I had a really good time. Um, I uh, was uh, there mainly to attend the Byton's unveiling of their new four-door sedan called K-Byte, very cute. The other SUV that they had uh, unveiled earlier, um, they named it M-Byte. I thought it was pretty cool, con uh, a naming convention. Very similar stats, looking to go into production 2021. Um, but uh, we were there also for another reason. They had quite a few news uh, that they've uh, announced, and the biggest one really wasn't even the sedan. It was the fact that they've secured half a billion dollars in their second round of financing, and not just m money. The two of those uh, investors are really really, really good strategic investors. One of them is uh, the government-based automotive uh, company. So basically, it's kind of like, like getting a blessing from the government uh, in China. And second one was uh, from the company that's going to be providing them with battery cells. So not just dumb money, very smart money, very good strategic uh, partners and a lot of money to move forward. Um, we, have also, uh, we have also toured uh, the uh, factory that is just being built. In the second, you'll see a video of us driving by. They, they wouldn't let us tape inside of the factory, but it was a full production line. Uh, we're making uh, prototypes right now, but uh, it's taking only like maybe 1% of the entire uh, lot. They're building and building and building all the way around. I'm gonna finish it by the end of the year. It's gonna be humongous, humongous uh, 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 factory, many times more than uh, Tesla's in Fremont. This is their headquarters. As you can see, it looks like any other Silicon Valley office. Very good, four, uh, four floors of that. Very nice lobby, uh, very Americanized, and they had it all fully staffed. This is the headquarter unveiling with a lot of government officials. This is Carson, their CEO talking. And this is their designer, very first floor designer area, I guess, the, uh, with two prototypes. Um, and uh, this is uh, CS Asia, me walking around the CS Asia. Not as much uh, automotive uh, companies present uh, compared to CS Nevada. Uh, Hyundai, as you can see, was there with a uh, Nexo. This is Biadi, my very up close look at Biadi. Um, then this is a, a Kia Neo Review. This is the same prototype uh, concept car prototype that you guys seen um, in Vegas. Uh, this is Biden's booth, probably not probably the biggest booth at the um, at the automotive hall. Both cars present. They're really, really trying to push for it. Now I had to get um, uh, order a brand new camera and set it up all within the last couple of hours because my camera got damaged. As you can see during this opening sequence, uh, one of the lasers hit my camera and damaged it. You'll see it will be a, a, a discolor uh, discoloration is going to be on the left side. As you can see now those lines. So some of my footage after that will have that. I will try to correct it as much as possible, but you guys are just going to have to excuse me. So I had to get on my Amazon app, get uh, get the order in and, and, and uh, un unbox my uh, same camera, just the, just the body of the camera once I got here and reset my entire studio. So that's unfortunate, but I got through it and it was a great trip. Um, many videos coming out in, in the next week. I will be in Anaheim, California for VidCon, so some of these videos will replace uh, my regular reporting. Uh, some of the reporters that I met there, I had some interviews with them, uh, some of them reporting for uh, Automotive News, for Forbes, uh, uh, Tom from uh, InsideEVs.com, a great interview with them, so all of that is coming up in the next week. All right, let's get to the actual news, what happened this week. and. Um, as you can see, autopilot, uh, it's uh, it's it's got a it's got a nagging problem. <laughs> Now, uh, in the light of all these accidents, uh, uh, Tesla had uh, released uh, the newer uh, update to the to the autopilot, and it nags you about you know keeping your hands on the wheel a little too much. Uh, a lot of people in my fa uh, Facebook group and and I see it all over the internet complaining that's too much. Then they're also trying to gri grip the wheel, and that's not helping. 
because really you have to actually move it a little bit up or down uh, and, and gripping it harder doesn't do anything and now it does every 10 seconds and so basically people are saying it's too much. Now to me too much was already uh, two years ago when you even had to consistently keep your uh, hands on the wheel even even if it nags you once a minute. Um, at this point it looks like you have to put more effort into gripping and, 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 and keeping the autopilot happy than you would if you would be driving the damn thing. So I'm interested to know if you guys are bothered by it let me know in the comment section but Elon Musk said that they will do a better job emphasizing the uh, 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 what you need to do to make sure to keep the autopilot happy, but it doesn't look like they're gonna be adjusting it. So let me know. Uh, but in other news, he also announced that, and he tweeted that the long-awaited version uh, uh, 9, version 9, uh, version 8 came out what 2016 so a couple of a uh, couple of years in the in the in the works uh, it's coming out it's going to have a brand new interface which is good a lot of people expected that i wouldn't say brand new it's probably going to be refreshed but last time refresh was really nice um and and i think everybody everyone's opinion was that it was positive direction uh but he also said we will we will begin the enable to enable full self-driving features now don't get too excited this doesn't mean that this car is going to have a level five self-driving it's just some of the features like for example, going off and on ramp will probably be enabled. Um, maybe seeing stop signs and stop lights. I, I don't know, but it looks like they will just slowly start to release them. So, uh, you know, watch out for those, but I'm assuming they're going to do it carefully, which they should. Um, all right, before I move on to the next news, I should mention that uh, this channel and this video is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Grab your own discount code in the description of this video that they've provided for this community so you can save a few bucks next time you shop there for their stuff. All right, uh, another news uh, that I'm glad that people didn't take it too bad because last time Tesla laid off like 1% of their workforce, everybody panicked. This time it was 9%, um, and they're not so much late. Well, they're laying it off people for a couple of reasons. One, Elon said that they want to restructure some of their you know middle management and just kind of uh, trim some fat and you know this is something that here in silicon valley and other industries uh, uh people do all the time and this is just you know the company has grown really really quickly right they're making two three times more cars than before uh, a few years before now by the way this will only get them back to what they had the the head count that they had in the beginning of the year anyway because they've already grown by i think 11 or 12 percent this year along so going back nine percent kind of keeps the headcount very, very similar. Elon wrote a relatively nice letter to his employees thanking uh, them for their service. And he is right, they're probably not gonna have uh, any issues of finding their, you know, new jobs here in Silicon Valley. Um, so, but that, the, obviously the second reason is they're trying to you know, become profitable in the next quarter. So trimming some of the salaries probably would help and streamlining some job responsibilities definitely will help. All right, let's move on to some uh, other news. Now, Porsche Mission E, as we know it, is no longer Mission E. It is Taycan. 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 There you go. You know, I never like any t car name where you don't know how to pronounce it. I actually thought I had it right, and then I uh, watched their video, which they released, uh, claiming that uh, they want to make sure that people understand it will have the same soul. Uh, and, and that's pretty cool because, you know, soul can mean really anything, but they just want to make sure that people understand that this electric car is not going to be an ugly child in the family. It's going to be a better uh, next generation portion. I love that. I, I think that's very, very smart. But they're naming it Taycan also good because you know they they want to keep it with, with it consistent with their naming convention um i would have still made sure that everybody can pronounce it Taycan. I, I, th uh, fine all right uh so uh, you can see this video on their youtube channel they're just basically just you know trying to show other portions before that that people really love and then teasing a few images of the uh newer mission e slash take tycon see i can pronounce it still um uh for us so that's um that's I, i'd say that's good advertisement that's really good advertisement you guys should watch it it's it just talks about the soul of the car um so Another another news workhorse. Now you probably know workhorse for this up and coming uh, plug-in hybrid uh, truck. Really is going to be the only electric car on the, on the market. Uh, but um, they also produce this uh, engine truck that they have sold to UPS earlier this year. They sold 50 of them uh, to test it out, and UPS just placed the rest of the order. I guess 950 more trucks from workhorse, you know, bringing the total to 1,000. As you know, UPS has been pretty aggressive 
aggressive in electrifying their fleet. They've ordered uh, Mercedes trucks, Daimler trucks, uh, semi truck from Tesla. Um, I think they've converted a few in London. I, I mean, they're doing a lot. So this is this is good, great news. And I'm I'm rooting for Workhorse. Um, I've interviewed their CEO a few weeks ago. Check that out on my channel. But they they're doing very well and congratulations on uh, getting this very large order for their engine the uh, range is about a thousand um sorry, the range is about a hundred miles but for for local delivery trucks that's more than enough so that's not an issue i'm going to try to do a follow-up story on this when maybe i'll get access to 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 uh, one of those vans and we'll check it out together so i am pretty excited about that um all right well i know there were a lot of other news in uh in in this week but i have to say that these are the main ones i guess a slow you know news week if you ask me but i guess good for me because i was able to kind of catch up on everything i'm still underslept i'll try to catch up and not be too uh, too much jet lag by the way tomorrow interview with uh, patrick george the editor-in-chief of jalopnik uh, we pre-recorded it today uh, believe it or not, this is my second video of the day, right off the plane. But uh, pretty interesting conversation, guys. I definitely uh, suggest you check it out. Uh, I know it's a controversial publication, but I gotta tell you, I'm I'm I like what he had to say. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, and then on Sunday I'll probably release one of the videos from the CES Asia or the Bytons unveiling, uh, whichever I will have uh, more energy to do. Uh, well, guys, it's great to be back. It's great to be live, uh, um, and um, I'm I'm looking forward to the next week. Um, other than that, of course, please remember to stay charged and I will see you tomorrow. Um, and I already screwed it up, right? You see, I'm, I'm, I'm literally falling asleep uh, as I'm saying it. Anyway, see you tomorrow and remember to stay charged.